plaintiff Jarrell Joyner says he left his turtles in the care of his trusted cousin while he visited family in Florida. When he returned home, the defendant handed him his pets in a box. He's suing his cousin for $500 in turtle funeral expenses, emotional distress, and wrongful death. Defendant Rakir Jones says watching those little slow pokes was hard. Their food was complicated. They escaped when he left the room to get his phone, and they were kind of boring anyway. He says it's not his fault because he was never given clear instructions. You guys are cousins. Yeah. Jarrell, you are suing your cousin Rakir yes. for $500 for the death of your turtles. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but yeah. You go ahead. I own two pet turtles that I had for numerous years. years about back. how many years did you have the turtles? I had the turtles for about six years. For six about years? High school. Did you so, name the turtles? Yeah, their names were Senorita uh, Boomshot. So Boomshot was the Senorita. <laughs> yeah. Was she cute? <laughs> she, she, for a turtle, I mean, no. I, would, I, would, I would say, I would say, yeah. Yeah, she, she was shy though, she always lived in a shell. Yeah. Now, what, <laughs> okay, and what was the other turtle's name? OG Big Ram. OG Big Rim? Big Ram. Big Ram. Yeah. So my parents moved to Florida yeah. and I decided to stay back, you know, wanting to just live my own life and things like sure. that. I wanted to go down to Florida, visit my family sure. and whatnot, you know, spend some time with them. Being that this is my cousin, you know, best friend at the time, I asked him if he would be cool, you know, watching my turtles, turtle sitting, if you will. Okay, so you were going to go to Florida to visit your parents and you yeah. said, hey, I'm going to be gone for what, how long? It was just a couple of days, probably okay. about like four or five days. Okay, so I'm going to be gone for a few days. Hey, could you turtle sit take care me. of my uh, turtle sit? Yeah. What is involved in turtle sitting? It's not much. Like, I it's wouldn't not, think. Yeah, it's not, it's not like you're watching a dog or, you know, anything. You know, you don't have to clean up behind them. What do them you have walks. to do if you turtle sit? The most you have to do really is just, I mean, drop some fish in the tank for them every so often days, you know, just to feed them, make sure they're good. And that's about it, Did honestly. you go over this with him before you left? Yeah. yeah okay, I so mean, he said, this is what you need to do. Because normally, if you ask someone to sit for one of your pets, be it a dog, cat, yeah. you kind of tell them, You hey. give them a couple of instructions or, you know, things of that nature. But I, a lot of it, he knew because he came over. It's not like he was unfamiliar to, like, you know, how I would treat them or... He never really gave me any instructions. He just gave me a bag of fish. What happened? Okay, so, Your Honor, like you said, he went to Florida to visit my aunt and my uncle. And when, uh... When I got to his house, he gave me the food, the fish that you were he wanted me to feed them, which yeah. I didn't really think uh, they ate fish. I thought, you know, turtles ate turtle food, like, you know, fish food, yeah. sprinkles. That's what I thought it was. When he gave you the fish, what did, yeah, he just did gave you me say, fish. what's this for? I mean, no, not really. He just gave me fish. Well, wait, someone just hands you fish? <laughs> yeah. And you don't say... Hey, thanks, but what? I mean, I figured it was for feeding the, the turtles because of how yeah. small they were. Okay, so what happened now? I leave to go to Florida for the couple of days. Yeah. We're in constant communication, you know, we're talking, everything's fine. When I get back, it's like nothing was the same. Like, again, the person I left, my cousin, my brother, best friend, I get back and it's just an awkward vibe. It just feels different, you know, he keeps distracting me. He's not trying to let me go to my house. I went to my room, and it's like immediately once I get in there, I notice an empty tank, and that's just like a telltale sign when you yeah. got a 55-gallon tank with a turtle top or a light. There's rocks in the bottom of it, you know, fish swimming occasionally, and no turtles. It's just like, where is, where is, where is, where is everything going? Yeah. He shows me a shoebox which had both of my turtles in it. And like, I could feel that both of my turtles were in the box without even having to really look or check. But he gave me the box just like, you know, just kind of standoffish, like, eh. What happened to the turtles? While I was watching them, I was bored, you know? It's just literally sitting there watching two turtles do nothing, so. Well, you're allowed to walk around the house. Yeah, I know that, but I'm saying like, <laughs> It was nothing to do, you know? So I wanted to take the, the turtles out, 
have a little fun. And, oh, so um, you took the turtles out? Yeah, I took them out of their, their tank. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to set them up and, you know, try to race them because he's done that before while I was there race at his the house. Race the turtles. Yeah. yeah. It's, okay. it's one of the few sources of entertainment the turtles can actually provide. <laughs> you know, I put them on the floor from time to time. Yeah. Set up little p parameters and barricades to where they can't just go all crazy and throughout the house. But, you know, I would race them from time to time as a source of entertainment. That yeah. Did you bring your friends over and you placed bets on them? <laughs> I could have. I should have. That would have been a good little side hustle. Oh, man. I got ideas out. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so you took the turtles out and yeah. let them run so around. So I started with uh, Senorita Boomshot, you know, took her out first. Yeah. And uh, Senorita Boomshot? Yeah, Senorita yeah. Boomshot. Right. And then uh, OG Big Ram, I took him out second. So I put them both down in the middle of, of his room, yeah. and uh, it kind of slipped my mind. I didn't think of putting a barricade down because we're not. Every time he's <laughs> took took the turtles out, he doesn't put a barricade down every time. It's just like a couple times he's put a barricade okay. down. We're in the room, so I didn't expect them to get away or yeah, yeah. you know run too fast. But a they turtle are ran too fast. How <laughs> slow are you? <laughs> oh no, I was actually, all right, so I took them out, I put them on the floor in the middle of the room, and I realized I didn't have my, my phone, so I went to the next room. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's where it all. And while you were in the... So I wanted to record them, see how, like, let yeah. everybody know how fast turtles really are. And um, I was gone for maybe like two, three minutes the most, tops. I come back into the room, they were lost. They're not in where I put them. And yeah, so I'm looking around his room. His room's not that big, you know? So I'm checking corners, checking under the bed, checking dressers. Where did you finally find him? And then the places that I looked. Where? Under his bed. He has a king bed. He had a king bed, so it was well, pretty big. Well, that's a lot. Uh, yeah, how could but you find under a whole king bed? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the turtle, he found a, a hiding spot. He, he stayed there and uh, just got stuck probably after i found that one i found the second one where under a dresser honestly in one room and obviously it's a turtle it, it didn't climb up yeah so you know it's somewhere on the floor and it turns out one's under the dresser and one's under the bed the two places you would probably first look for them yeah I did. with a flashlight i mean maybe they weren't there the the whole time i don't think they were well to be honest you're suing him for the co original cost of the turtles? The original cost of the you turtles. You said uh, funeral expenses? Yeah. What do you mean funeral expenses? The expenses come from the flowers that I had uh, got and as well as the two decorative boxes from Michael's to like bury the turtles in and like, you know, let them essentially rest in peace and whatnot, as well as a nice little headstone and things of that nature. I have an idea. We're going to set up a turtle race. <laughs> and one turtle will be the plaintiff, and the other turtle will be the defendant. Okay. And whichever turtle wins the race. I call Boomshot. You call Boomshot. <laughs> I'm going to say on your mark, get set, go. And when I say go, you put them down. Okay. And we'll see how they do here. Okay. Well, this I tell you what, Najee, you say on your mark, get set, oh, go. Oh, man. All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, oh no, you can't touch. Can't touch. Can't touch. Oh, oh. My third was not going to finish. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> See, right. boom shot, man. I guess yeah, I, it. no, it. I had bet on the plaintiff, so I owe you 20 bucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess. Smart I man. apologize, Jerry. Yeah. Smart man, Ashley. All right, I mean, you know, we make jokes here, but it's a live pet, and people are emotionally attached to their pet, and I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it's just a turtle. It's not just a turtle. It was a turtle that he had for six years, and I mean, obviously he was attached to it. And turtles. uh it wasn't difficult for you to take care of them. Just had to watch them. I consider gross negligence. 
and the plaintiff has sued you for $500. The funeral expenses, I'm not going to give you, but you are entitled to $400 uh, for the cost of the total. So I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $400. I felt bad when it happened, yes, of course, but they're just turtles, you know. It's not like I killed a dog or something. Trust, you know, they say it takes forever to build and seconds to destroy, and right now we're working on that forever, building it again. I know my turtles out there now, and they're a little, they're swimming, and they're a little bit happy with this verdict. Justice is definitely served. Plaintiff Jody Young claims she gave the defendant space to get herself back together after her hardships. But then her friend ghosted her on car and watch payments. She's suing for $5,000. Defendant Chelsea Eves says while grieving the loss of her dad, she couldn't have been expected to make two car payments. Plus, she lost the watch. What's the big deal? I understand here, uh, you used to be friends. But Jody, you are suing Chelsea for a car that you loaned her, and there's also an Apple Watch that is involved in this, and you say she owes you money, you're suing her for $5,000. How are you doing, Your Honor? Due to Mrs. Chelsea being irresponsible, I had to pull out of my 401k to try to get stuff handled. Um, basically, we met around 2018. Yeah. We used to work together. We became real close as, as best friends. We call each other best friends. Yep. She had some things going on in her life. She lost a car, her house, her home, and then she mm. also lost her job. So me being a great friend, like, hey, I, I got all of this. I can help you out. So you invited her to stay at your home? Correct. Also, while she was there, I also loaned her my car. I had an extra car because I had just got one. So I'm like, okay, well, you can use this car. Just take over the payments and put insurance on it. And then, I mean, we, we can do it like that. Yeah. She agreed on it. Okay. Um, so as time went by, it she just started getting late on late payments. I started getting calls from the car company. Sure. As well as her reaching out to me telling me that the car got cut off. How many months did she have the car? About six months. Did the payments ever stop? Yes. She missed two car payments. The yeah. first time they, they ended up cutting the car off, I got a phone call from her, hey, the car is cut off. I'm like, okay, uh, are you going to pay it? Or she's like, I don't have it or whatever. Um, then I was like, okay, well, you can give me the car back. Like, if you, you can't yeah. handle it, give me the car back. I can handle my own payments. She went ghost on me. Um, I didn't hear from her. I kept on kind of like trying to reach out to her. Then all of a sudden, Miss Chelsea had a new car on social media. Me and Jody were friends, real yeah. close, you know. Um, I, within the course of our friendship, I moved to Texas. I moved back from Texas because my dad was sick. And then he later, you know, passed away. So Sorry. I came back with my own vehicle, which got took. Did you make all the payments? Yes, I was making payments until I got my own vehicle, so I can't make two car payments, so I had to stop. I understand, but didn't reach did out to you, me. you could have driven hey, the car back to car. her house. She came to my job to get the vehicle. So. After a week of trying to get in contact with her, my car wouldn't have got repoed if I would have got in contact with her sooner to go get my vehicle. I left her alone for two months after her dad passed. And I, re I told her, hey, I know you're going through a lot. But I didn't have the I'm car still, for six months. I'm okay. still here as your friend. I know we still got our differences, but I'm still here. You just lost a parent. You know, I'm not, I'm not a shady person. So mm. I was still trying to be there for and her. And predator. At some point, you knew inside that the payments were being made just to protect yourself. Why wouldn't you have immediately made those payments and then go over and get the car from her? Because at this point, she didn't tell me that she couldn't make it. She just said, hey, I'm going to be late. Yeah, but so, how many months was it late? It wasn't months late. It, she missed two payments. They're every okay. two-week payments. Okay, so, she so missed if she one missed month. two in a row, and you also knew that she had lost her dad, but you don't want to get the car repossessed. Right. If she's not making the payments, make the payment, take the car back. Before I went to get the car, I did not know how far she was behind until I actually got the car and I called them because I, I reached out to her and I said, hey, where's the car now? She's, I was asking her to cut off. It took days, two days, um, sending her eyes like, hey, what, what's going on? Now it's at my house. This is the 11th. I gave her a car. Where do you stay? I don't know anything. I don't know where she stay. Uh, fortunately, I don't have a phone number. This is Facebook messages. Like, I don't have no way of contacting her. My number is still the same. No. Well, I didn't block. I, I just, when you, I'm like I said, when you, you're whatever. dealing with a death or whatever, you pull back 
from okay. whatever. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in foster care. I, you know, I'm not used to, you know, okay. all that. Ex, I understand. You know. Okay, I understand how all these things happen. I'm just trying mm -hmm. to resolve how we can fairly resolve this. Let's go now to the watch. I, I understand with a friend going through tough times, hey, you need a car because you got to be able to get to work. You got to be able to, you got to get around. An Apple Watch, it's not a necessity. You okay. give someone a Apple Watch, which is lovely, you kind of got to know that that's, that's a gift. No, you, it's on you account said that to, we made where payments. Is, we made it, pay, I, we made monthly Where payments. is the agreement before you gave it to her that she would pay for the watch? Because it it's not a, your watch, it's her watch. I you, pay for it. You pay for it, but because the agreement she was payments. she was, right? Right, but she don't make payments. It's on my account. If the payments don't I make payments, it's going to cut my phone. She lost the watch. And that's why she stopped paying for it. She act like she don't need to pay for it because she lost it. Even that's though you lose it, stopped. doesn't what? mean that you can't pay for your watch. You I was made making one payment. payment. You made one payment. I was sending payments payment. from Texas. How much was the watch? $529.99. In the beginning, she was making payments? No. She made, she, one, she made one payment on the Apple Watch. <laughs> she lost the watch a month later. Oh, you knew it wasn't a gift because you made a payment. Yeah, we had this, yeah. Oh, well, then that part of the case is pretty easy. Yeah because you do owe for what mm -hmm. that, oh, okay. So there's no defense there, good. Now, I, get up here a lot. I love when you give me an easy case. Okay, now on the car, the only thing that changed in your situation was that you let her use the car in exchange for her making the payments. When you took that niceness of her and you agreed to make the payments, for those six months, it comes to a approximately $2,160. I know you sued for $5,000. I think you're entitled to the payments that she should have been making while she had the car for a six-month period. I fine for the plaintiff in the sum of $2,640. I told her to come pick up the vehicle, and after I told her to come get that, I felt like it was not my responsibility anymore to take payments after that. I mean, it was pretty much fair. I should have basically probably took responsibility as I seen it get out of hand to go get the vehicle, but at that point I really didn't know where she was or anything like that, and I didn't have a, a point of contact.